All right, good morning, everyone. I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to do a quick tutorial about how to access the editor in BandLab as well as the processes in which you are going to need to know on how to create our project, okay? You'll have your classroom. There'll be an announcement up here for you. I'll probably be posting your assignments here and Google Classroom, so there'll be two areas for you to see. But what you're concerned with is being able to access your editor. And the way we do that is we come up to the top where our profile icon is. Click on that, go to My Library. Once you're in My Library, you'll see all your personal projects. You're gonna click on Mix Editor. And it may ask you if you're trying to do a teacher project that like I assigned to you or a personal project. For now, just click personal project. It's all the same. So we're in our DAW now, and I want us to focus on loops. So we can focus on loops by clicking the browse loops, and we'll see all of these packs come up on the side, all right? They're categorized by sound type or genre type. You can star things and make them favorite. You can listen to little samples by clicking the play button. Granted, none of these clips exist as full-fledged samples, but you'll be able to find the loops inside of those beats to create your own, right? The way we browse our loops, we can click on packs or we can click on loops. We have an, a couple of filters we can use. You can select what kind of instrument you want to use. You can select what genre you're looking for if you're feeling stuck and want to limit your choices. Okay. To close that window, we press the loops button again. All right. One thing I want to talk about is our timeline up here. This is important to be able to learn how to read because this will tell you how many measures or how many bars you are using, right? So this is like the X axis on the chart. This will be time going forward. And then your Y axis will be your different tracks and instruments, right? So you can add tracks by pressing this add track button. Or if you're using loops, you can add a track just by clicking, dragging, and dropping your loop in, okay? One thing that is super important when you are importing loops, I'm gonna close my window real quick. I'm gonna zoom in using this microscope magnifying glass situation and i'm going to go to my clip and i will find out that my sample is not lined up directly on beat one of measure one right it's actually on beat two we can tell that because it says 1.2 so in order to just fix that problem i'm going to grab it and drag it over and that will fix that problem all right we can play our music by pressing play we will notice that our key changed to C minor because that's the key of this bass. We will notice that the tempo changed to 132 because that's the tempo of this sample. Just one more thing before we go, you will recognize and you'll be able to read what BPM and what key your loops are in by just checking out the information in the loop window, right? So this two-step bass says it's a bass, it says it's at 132 BPMs and it says it's in C minor, okay? That's all for now. We will continue on the next lesson and learn how to edit and create samples out of our loops.